Hi Berkeley, welcome to Cal TV. Here to update you on the latest news, I'm Pimpan Zhang Chirawangsa. And I'm Jessica Summers. Welcome to the Berkeley Beat. On Tuesday, Chancellor Robert Bergenau announced in a letter to the Cal community that five UC Berkeley sports teams will no longer represent the school in intercollegiate athletics. Men's rugby, men's baseball, men's and women's gymnastics and women's lacrosse will be removed from the intercollegiate roster. The cuts are part of a wider campaign to reduce campus costs and to help aid financial issues within the Department of Intercollegiate Athletics. On the topic of budget cuts, Chancellor Bergenau also announced last week that UC Berkeley will be cutting 200 jobs across 27 campus units early next year. These 200 job cuts are projected to save UC Berkeley a total of $20 million. And although 200 job cuts may not seem as staggering as the 600 job cuts implemented last school year, it still seems to be affecting much of the staff on campus to the same degree. Director of the Student Life Advising Services and Educational Opportunity Program has expressed his concern. What I don't want to see happen is that there's a, a, a divisiveness that comes out of this process, um, people competing against each other. In other news, the governor's race has begun as Meg Whitman and Jerry Brown had their first debate at UC Davis. Berkeley Beat's Jake Lefferman has more on this. I met UC Davis outside the Mondavi Center for Performing Arts, where in just a few moments the gubernatorial debate between Meg Whitman and Jerry Brown will begin. Students have actually convened outside for what they call a rally for college affordability. We've seen students from the UCs to the community college to the CSUs, all hoping that Jerry Brown and Meg Whitman will hear their pleas. The Students from throughout California gathered to ask the next governor for a comprehensive plan that would address the issue of public education. This governor needs to have a plan to make college affordable. We want not just rhetoric, but real answers. And that's why I'm asking Jerry Brown and Meg Whitman, what's your plan? What is your plan to make college affordable? The rally was organized by CalPERG, a California public interest group who stressed that higher education should be a top priority for the next governor. Inside, however, the candidates had little hope to offer. I don't think either of them were, to be honest, very specific on their plans for higher education. They both said that they supported it, but neither of them made real concrete promises. But students remain hopeful that their voices would be heard. Future California is not made behind bars. It's made in the CSU. It's made in the community colleges. And it's made in the UC. With the state election looming in November, students are asking for real answers to higher education. Asking Jerry Brown and Meg Whitman if they really have a plan. For Cal TV in Davis, I'm Jake Lofferman. Thank you, Jake. A recent study on campus may give women more incentive to visit their dentist. The findings of this research suggest that women who receive dental care can reduce their risk of cardiovascular problems by at least one third. The study did not, however, find evidence for a similar benefit to men. Well, I personally wouldn't mind going to the dentist more often. And now there's an added benefit, <laughs> so hey, why not, right? Exactly. <laughs> That's all we have for you today. Be sure to tune in to tomorrow's In Focus. I'm Pimpan Zhang Chirawangsa. And I'm Jessica Summers. Have a fantastic week, Cal.